Um, this is gonna be a quick video about um I was doing a little thinking um to myself and I was just thinking about what's going on right now in the world and everything that's going on and I'm I'm putting some pieces together. I mean this is just how my mind is working, but I don't know. I could be wrong. You can tell me what you think about what I'm saying. I'm not saying this is the truth, but I'm just looking at things from my my point of view. Um, right now, we're going through what they they talking about this uh, coronavirus mess and all this. Um, um, social distancing and making people do certain things um, that violates all type of constitutional laws and everything else in the name of some type of state of emergency or whatever but um, social engineering that's what that is right um, I want to put this theory out here. I mean, I don't know, like I said, I don't know that just how my mind working. Um, in the world of the future, um, enslavement, I mean, I don't want to keep using that word because that I'm not a fear porn propagator. I'm not one of them kind of people that promote fear porn, but I do. I am a person that looks into the future, that tries to um, see what's coming down the line. You know, having some type of foresight is good for 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 you and all those around you because. If things are going on that you didn't agree to, but someone else has made a plan for your life, I think you should be aware enough to see that it might be time for you to, you know, take some actions against these plans if it involves your life, you know. But, um, I started looking into stuff about, I've been looking into stuff about legalizing psychedelics. It says right here, the movement to de decriminalize civil society in the United States began in, 2000, in the late 2010s. With Denver, Colorado becoming the first city to de decriminalize psilocy psilocybin in May 2019. The cities of Oakland and Sa Santa Cruz, California followed suit and decriminalized psil psilocybin in June 2019. And January 2020, respectfully. Now, the reason why I'm going to this, this um, these psychedelics, is because it all, when you put all the pieces together, it all makes sense. Now, psychedelics have you out of your mind. You know, they have you tripping and everything like that. Um, they will decriminalize anything that they can so-called tax. They don't manipulate it to a point to where they can push it back out to us and sell it in taxes, modify it, doing whatever they do with it. And it's all for profit to make money. Now, what do you get when you add psychedelics, virtual reality? We all know what that is. Uh-huh, we know what that is. Psychedelics, virtual reality. See? Augmented, augmented reality, meaning things, looking at things through screens that not they're not even there. Right? And then you add in security measures like toll roads, Donald Trump building a wall. What is all that about?
what is all of that about? Well, enslavement. And then you add in And then you add in prophecy. All these things must come to pass. So, really what they're doing is conditioning and, well, prepping you mentally and physically to be confined to certain spaces for long periods of time, right? Because if you add in religious mindset to it, they say that all these things must come to pass. See, they don't believe Jesus came back. See, I, I, I already, I'm done with the religion stuff. But they really are going along with this book of Revelation thing must come to pass. They trying to add stuff up to be uh, mark of the beast and all this madness. But none of this stuff is true. None of this stuff has to come to pass at all. So there are social engineers behind the scene, yes, engineering all of this. Legalizing psychedelics is the beginning of the framework, you know. They already got the physical framework, toll roads, they done socially engineered people's minds to uh, socially distance themselves and um, putting fear out there. So that's the that's the hardware, you know. That's the the on the ground stuff, the physical stuff, right? Now it goes to the mental and the legalistic part part of it. Now, when it comes to stuff like psychedelics, when it comes to the framework of, of, of the physical side, you, you got to look at stuff like um, what they call it, um, mental hospitals, mental homes. Um, all this stuff is being, you know, have to be accounted for. Because when they legalize it, they're going to, you know, they're going to put out all these laws and policies about it. All this stuff is just, just to make money. The sad thing about all this stuff that's going on is, is in one way or another, it's to make money. But what I'm saying is it's a form of enslavement because it's going to have everyone, like I say, virtual reality, augmented reality. You are not going to know reality from fiction. Because of all this stuff. And then you add in stuff like, um, like, let's see, people want to do magic. You see what I'm saying? When I have your mind all dazed with all kind of different stuff, you know, it's going to create a system of enslavement. And you ain't going to know your way out of it. All because of what they're doing right now. Everything that they're doing right now is designed to enslave people. You will not know fantasy from reality. It will all merge and you won't know which way to go.
now I understand now I understand why the belief and reincarnation is so evil. Reincarnation is evil. Matter of fact, what is that movie? Um, uh, what is it? What is the movie? Um, where the man keeps his body keeps reincarnating, reincarnating, and keep um. Jumping into another body because they don't program his mind on some kind of chip or something. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in all that, you know. But I believe there are other things they can do. You know, it's like pressing a reset button on a game over and over and over again, and keeping you playing a game that you didn't want to play. But all this stuff is designed to confine your mind. All this stuff and daze you, hypnotize you with nothing. And you will be enslaved. In them big cities, all this virtual reality popping out the sides of the walls and everything else, you don't know, you don't know what's going on. And you have on psychedelics, everything gonna be legalized. It's all a game to enslave you. Looking at everything through a screen. This is just my mindset. This is just what's going on in my head right now. You know, I don't, I'm not one of them people that preach doom and gloom and none of that. But I do try to look at, you know, things, force, you know, have some type of foresight. A lot of people don't have foresight. They don't even try to have it. They just go along with you know, whatever's going on. But this is just where my mind at right now. You tell me what you think about it.